I will not be. Yeah. I hope so. Well, Coach Anthony Stolars gets the shutout and yep. the primary assist on Anton Lindell's goal. How would you describe the value he's provided? Oh, immeasurable because beyond the numbers, which are league leading in some departments, he's also been a really important relationship guy with Sergey. I mean, they get along incredibly well, support each other, cheering for each other. And that's a really important thing for Sergey. It is not so much at his age to have somebody to, to cheer for and the cheers for him. They, they're unique. They got a really uh, they got a really good thing going. So I'm happy for Anthony. He's worked hard to change his game to get better. No change. He just improved his game from training camp to where he is now. He's very very good. Were you always planning on going to the store? Yeah, I messed that one up this morning. I mean, I. I say Sergey so often that it's just kind of in my head. It was Anthony Stoller's coming up, but my mouth tricked me. Yeah, I messed that one up. Sorry. Do you have it mapped out how the last three looked out, or does it sort of? The, the, I got. I know what the next two look like. It'll depend on what the value of the last one is. So, like, it doesn't I check with me twice. Yes. Addy, you're now responsible for releasing the starting goaltender. <laughs> But now I can, but the nice part is I can kind of fall back on that one anytime I want. <laughs> established a precedent. And you look at Stoli right now, the way he's played for you guys. There haven't been many bad starts, right? The guys have complete confidence in him. He has confidence in himself. How big is that for you guys moving forward and having it all here? You have to have it. You have to have the belief that you can win every night to get into the playoffs because injury, sickness, health, play, whatever. Uh, using two goaltenders is almost normal. Now and and you need it. You need the belief, and there's lots of belief in Anthony. Looking at defensively tonight, keeping it out of the outside mostly. How do you like how the team approached that? And is there something maybe you can carry forward now? Mm, I thought Anthony was really really good. I don't think that they generated much, mm -hmm. uh, but they probably generated as much as we did. Didn't think it was the most exciting game I've ever seen. Um, so we'll just talk about Hannah. Tomorrow we'll look at some things that didn't like we did, especially early in the game that set the tone for the game, in our opinion, because we would feel that we are responsible for how the game is played and how we play. Um, so we'll deal with that tomorrow, and then this one's done. I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time breaking it down in terms of who is good, who wasn't. I'll take a look at it and say, these are things we can't do at the start of the game to set the tone for the game, for our D, and then we'll move on. Yeah, they were saying that. No. You know, said dinner with just about every guy yep. on the team. He says, and he also there's an appropriate amount of weirdness that he brings, and this is him. Saying, mm -hmm. How important is that in that position? You're the backup goalie. That's a critical chemistry role, I would think. Yeah, but it kind of fits the room. So there's a certain amount of weirdness the last two years. The, I know. That, let's change it to uniqueness. We get some unique guys in there. For some guys that just don't look like professional athletes, and they are, and they're elite at it, right? And then lots of different personalities. So what I think you find is because of the room, the way it is, so accepting. The guys are completely comfortable, truly being themselves, and then that weirdness or uniqueness comes out. If it's an uptight room and clicky room, it'd be no different than when you were in high school, right? You're not sharing your weirdness with everybody because you get mocked mercilessly for it. Now you still get mocked, but everybody gets mocked, so it's fair. So it's kind of like. Yeah, it's kind of like that. The, the room allows everybody, and, and the coach too, like it allows us all to be goofy at times or just as stupid as we all are, right? Just then not be afraid of it. You, you said uh, not the most exciting game, which. We would all agree on? Are we yeah, all agreeing on that? Okay. Um, and early in the game, you seemed on the bench. Uh, Looked like trying to inspire your team a little over. I felt, I felt the, the game lacked the motivation. Um, it's not that I didn't understand it. Or you, you, there's a set of you know you get a set of cards every day. Before you look at your cards today, you're not gonna like them. So you know what? But one of the dealers if I sent them to these cards are gonna suck. <laughs> but then you got to figure out how to play them. And then you're you know you can't be berserking every night because when the guy makes a bad pass. At the same time, I picked certain points to. There were pieces of our game I didn't like, and we can we can fix those mentally. And and you also know that you're gonna get into a game you don't like ten minutes of it. You got to be able to change it. So I was just trying to. Trying to play my cards a little different tonight. That's all. Not that you, not that you can are. push it, but three games left in the regular season is that? I don't know. Expect is the right word, but is it uh, understandable or not? Oh, I've seen it. 
for sure. We want, and um, with all of that, we'll take a 2 nothing win. I'm, I'm absolutely taking it, for sure, because we want – I'm taking 2 nothing over 7-6 all day long. We'll try to bring the excitement in the playoffs, and we'll just get rid of uh, – not worry about it right now. Do you like the cards you – for 79 hands now, do you like the cards you have going in? Yeah, I do. I, I do. Uh, an awful lot. And I also think we'll build as this week goes because – one of the cards was we just came off, finished the most grueling two week, 10 game stretch. And we were on the road for the tail end of it. And then we got, as we have, big roast beef, bottle of red wine day, right? So you just come home to home cooking and everything's good and you relax. And as soon as that, yeah, that there's no connection to the game of hockey then and how hard it is. I didn't go very hard yesterday in practice because, you know, you're just you know, some guys were resting, some guys stay out. So it set an environment for for that game. Just wanted to be smart enough to be able to get through the game and win it. We'll, we'll build here. We'll be better next game. Thank you, Cole. Okay, guys. Thank you. Thank you.